You got calling. <laughs> it's uh, been an interesting day with setting all the plants back up so that they can catch the sunlight and absorb the water that drowned them. <laughs> With trying to get back into a routine of setting things back in order. You know, it's always interesting when we have routines that we get comfortable in and we don't allow for circumstances or situations that God may be directing us to upset our apple cart, so to speak, to not be prepared for those times when he says go or wait or be still because you see sometimes it's easy to just run off and do our own thing i know that everyone says oh well you know of course you gotta get out of bed and get dressed and wash your face and comb your hair and shave and do all those things but what if you had died of a heart attack what if you tripped on the way to the bathroom, broke your neck? What if, what if, what if? Well, the reality is, is that all day, every day, it's not a question of just walking in the spirit, but we can be aware that God is here. We can be knowledgeable of the fact that God is in us and God is with us. And so when we sit down to read devotionals or spend some time with the Lord in our day, whether morning or noon or night, that because he's here, then we know we can talk directly to him and we can know that he hears us. And as we know that he hears us, we can learn to listen so that we can learn to hear him. Understand them. Take joy wherever you go. You've been much blessed. You are being much blessed. Such stores of blessings are awaiting you in the months and years that lie ahead. Pass every blessing on. Don't hold on to it. Love can and does go round the world, passed on the God currents from one person to another. Shed a little sunshine in the heart of one, that one is cheered and they will pass it on and so on my revitalizing joy giving message goes on be transmitters these days love and laugh cheer all love all always seek to understand others and you cannot fail to love them see me in the dull and uninteresting the sinful, the critical, the miserable, the disgusting. <laughs> Just look in the mirror you know, and say, hey, you know, and see me in the laughter of children and the sweetness of old age, in the courage of youth and the patience of man and womanhood. You know, I laugh at that because in reality, the tendency of people, unless you're saved, is to pull away from that which is strange or different or unusual that if you don't fit someone's stereotype then oh you know no i'm sorry i can't deal with you you know i have my own issues but jesus came to a world that he created that did not fit according to his design because it was in rebellion to god so it was foreign to him and yet he so loved the world and he came and died for it that we would be in relationship and have a personal dynamic with god that we could begin to love one another as we were not doing as god had said to do because we were given the commandments we were told you know oh we should love one another we were told we should love the lord our god and we said we did we swore up and down we did we did all these religious things to make us seem like we do but let's be real do you love like jesus loves have you today 
the hardest thing to do is in your own strength and ability is to love someone else because you will be provoked you will be frustrated you will be aggravated but hmm, when you are loved and God loves you so much that you just are filled with that love and that that enjoyment of knowing God it just seems to spill over to other people to even those that you don't think you'll get along with or you don't think that you like or you don't think that you know and yet as you begin to share the person that loves you as you begin to understand that sharing God the things that you delight to do will cause you to build a bridge to the person that will be enjoined to participate with you in the Lord your God and be filled with the love that you have and you'll find that you're loving God in them as much as you love God himself. Because God is in them. God is with them. And God is working through them to drive you nuts, to drive you crazy, to drive you aggravated, to drive you to the point where you can love them. <laughs> That's the point and the issue of why, really, God allows us to all be so different to be so unique and you know, so distinctive that we rub off on each other and we wear down those carnal, outside, weird growths that we get as though we were some kind of plant that's kind of like, you know, twisted up and doesn't know which way the sun is. And God proves it. Sometimes he does it to other people. Sometimes he does it himself. But inside you, that love that God has for you will spill forth to other people if you let it. God doesn't want you to be a dam today. He wants you to be a river. <laughs> so don't dam up what God is doing in you. Let it flow. Just like a river. <laughs>